Kirk with Firehouse Bow Fishing. Today we're going to be doing a review on our new G3 Bowfish 20. This is G3's new bow fishing boat for the year. They just came out with it. We picked it up uh, back in April sometime. Fished with it all year and before I go do modifications this winter I want to do a review on it um, on how it is stock. So we'll start off and you'll see that it comes with six sea lights. These are the 100 watt versions. Uh, back here as far as the trailer goes it actually comes with a tandem axle trailer, which is good because this boat is super heavy. Um, we're going to jump upside the boat and we'll go over what's on the inside. Now we're up here on the deck of the boat. We've uh, decided to go with the Medcota Power Drive for our power supply. We're bow fishing and doing our trout fishing and any other kind of fishing. As you can see, the deck is super wide. We've fished four to six guys up here before and it's been no problem. This deck is so wide. One thing I was really worried about when we got this boat is a railing. I was scared it would be too high. But it didn't take any time at all to get used to it. This just comes right up to my knee. It is not that high. You can easily shoot your bow over it. And it's a good leaning post whenever we're fishing. You prop your leg up on there when you're throwing crankbaits and stuff like that. Something really cool they put up here on the deck are these access ports. They have one, two, three, four. And you'll see in these front ones, they have the GFCI outlets for where the way the lights are wired up. They have the outlets facing upright so water can pour into them. I've already had to get them replaced once, so I'm looking at probably going into a different setup for next year because they're just going to keep breaking. Also, up here, they are screwed down, but they have four more ports so you can get in here, run wires, do whatever you need to do. These two back here are to get a hold of your aerator and your live well. Up here on the front of the boat, we have our nice storage compartments. Um, I hold my foot pedal for my trolling commoter. That's about the only thing we use these for. They're not that big. Um, open this compartment. This is for bow storage, life jackets, tackle box. I have my bow in there. It'll fit four of my arch enemy bows in there, no problem. We have a PSE Nova for our backup in emergency situations, and it will not fit in there. It's too long. This bow box measures 37 and a half inches. So for you guys shooting Oneidas, this probably is not a boat for you because your boats will not fit in this box, I'm assuming. I've never shot one, but I'm guessing they're probably longer than that Nova. Um, this live well is huge. You see here, this is a 65 gallon live well. We normally use a 55 gallon bucket to throw our fish in. This thing is 10 gallons bigger than that. And you see in this live well, it comes equipped with a washout. I'll throw a video up to the washout being used. But basically, they state that this is, has enough power to hose your boat out, get the fish slime out of there. And as you'll see in the video I'll have running, um, that's definitely not the case. There's zero pressure behind this. And we've taken it to the dealer to get looked at, and it kind of just is what it is. It's not that good of a washout. So right here, we have a workstation. Uh, this comes in real handy when we're bow fishing because there's been numerous times that we break stuff. It happens. So it gives me a little workbench to sit my tools down on and get the bow back in service with. So coming back down, middle of the boat, I have an awesome center console, makes a good seat for somebody when they're sitting here. It also doubles as a cooler. We have the drinks and stuff in there. It works as a mini live well because it has water flowing in there, but we use it as a cooler. It doesn't hold ice very well at all, but it works as a cooler. Uh, so over here we have our rod locker. We've got uh, one on each side. They hold three fishing poles a piece, and there's plenty of room for other storage stuff. Whenever we're not fishing for trout and other things, we'll pull those out and put our tackle box and life jackets or whatever we need for bow fishing. Um, when we do go on the water to go regular fishing though, we have six torpedo tubes, three on each side for the center console. Take a pull out, sit them in there, and it just makes it easier to get to while we're fishing. Um, back here we have the center console, have multiple different switches for our different bilge pump, aerator, stern lights, things like that. Back here they have mounted is the stern light. For whatever reason, we need a six foot stern light. It plugs into the receiver back here. The very first night we went out bow fishing, we left that plugged in the receiver, one ran under a branch, snapped the thing off. Uh, so we've already had to fix that once, so we just kind of quit using that while we're bow fishing because it's entirely too long, in my opinion. It comes with this nice padded seat, so when you sit down while you're driving, it's really comfortable. Um, back here, the generator. We have a Champion 3400 watt inverter generator. We have another review on that if you want to check that out and go more in the depth in it. We decided to go for this one because in G3's early release videos of this boat, they kind of alluded to the fact that this is going to be coming with the Yamaha generator. And when you go to pick the boat up from a dealer, that's not necessarily the case. Not only does it not come with a Yamaha generator, it's not an option from the factory. It's not even something you can get. So 
that kind of sucks, but we ended up buying our own generator for that to fill that hole. Uh, back here in the back, it has two tie-off cleats. Underneath the center, uh, underneath the seat back here, is the fuel tank. It's got a 30-gallon fuel tank, and we can go a long ways on 30 gallons. That is really good. It's about twice the size of the competitor's boat. Um, back in here, we can lift this up. Huge battery box. Right now, we got a 24 volt system set up, but there's plenty of room for the 34 volt system. We got our starting battery. Um, we're going to be working on getting our Power Max chargers put in here, but there's plenty of room to mount those in here and keep them watertight. Uh, we opted for the 115 Yamaha. Great motor, pushes this boat on GPS. I'm running about 35 to 38 is my max speed so far, so however accurate my phone is on GPS. But um, one last thing up here on the front of the boat, or in the midsection, where I'm kicking, there's white lights and they use those for ground lighting in the boat. Uh, while I'm driving, those white lights, they shine right in your eyes and blind you and you can't see to drive. So we'll be switching those out to red or some other different colors so they're not completely blinding. But overall, this is a really good boat. There's some things that they could have done better, but it's a first year production. I would definitely buy it again. Uh, if you like what you saw here, make sure to like our video and go subscribe to our channel. We're going to be working on doing more hunting and bow fishing uh, videos and reviews, so stay tuned and look for those. Thanks.